Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial, man. And today I got a great tutorial for y'all. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some 3D text like you see right here. And okay, now that I'm looking back at this banner, I really realized like your boy Dragon really he kind of went hard on this. This is my probably favorite banner right here, but I ain't even gonna say if y'all want tutorial, let me know because I can't even promise that. But yeah, man, if y'all like this banner right here, make sure y'all leave a like. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make how I made that text right here on the banner. So with all that being said, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is come in Photoshop. Go to File, New, Pick, 1546 by 423 because that is the size I use. After this, the first thing you want to do is go to the Horizontal Type Tool. And then you want to click on the screen and you want to type the name. Now, the name I'm going to be typing is going to be uh, Kobe. I'm going to just remake the text over again. And I'm going to make this bigger. And we're going to do it about this size right here. So now that we got this size, what we're gonna do is double click with the horizontal type tool. And we're gonna go up here. We're gonna type in the font walk the walk one regular. That is the font I use to make this uh, effect right here or style, whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, just make sure you pick that right there. And you wanna go to your color picker and set the background to gray like this. So after you have your font in here, what you wanna do now is um, hit control and the plus symbol and then zoom in like so. So once you zoom in, you just want to go to this right here, the move tool. I'm tripping, I'm tripping out on y'all real quick. But you want to click, then you want to right click, then you want to warp, and you want to put it on art or arch. So now you want to put like a little arch on it, probably about there right there. And now that you got this, you want to hit control and the plus symbol to zoom in. And you want to hit control J on this right here. And you want to right click and rasterize this text. Now hit control J on this again because we're gonna have two of these at the end. So you can name this one warp and name this two warp because we don't have two of them. So now that we got this, we're gonna go over to the copy. And you can just make them like, invisible right now because it's not really gonna matter. But we're gonna click L on our keyboard to go to the lasso tool. And make sure on the pull polygon polygonal. I don't know. Just make sure you're on that tool. And you wanna go click around each letter. Uh, could just click around them and hit control and J you can do layer of your cut but just do uh, control J so go around each letter like so boom and if you have them connecting just follow the shape even though they are connecting and you want to hit control J again I'm gonna name this B and I'm not really gonna cut up this video obviously I'm edited it but I'm gonna show y'all how I made the text exactly because I've been slacking on my tutorials just been having a lot of clients, so yeah, you just want to cut this out. We just hit uh, Control J on that again. We're gonna name this L, and every time you uh, duplicate it, what you want to do is name, rename the uh, text after. So yeah, come around here. Then you want to hit Control J and just O. And then the last one, I'm pretty sure the easier way you can do this without even cutting out, but I'm gonna just cut it out. I don't feel like doing that and explaining that. So just hit control J on this, and you wanna name this K. So after this, what you wanna do is group these right here. We're gonna name these uh, letters, right? And obviously, as you saw earlier, I had different colors on each one. So I'm gonna just assume, assume that this one right here is red. We'll make this a little more red. The red one was the only one I had problems with anyway. You just can't really see it like that. We'll make the next one green. And once you get the first base, like the base of the first color, next thing you wanna do is just slide down with it. So all of them, I have like the same area. So they will be like the same color, same shade and all that. You get what I'm saying? So we'll make this right here. Uh, what was it? I don't know. I just make that orange. Um paste this I'm just right click and pasting it because I copied it so we'll do this one we'll make this one blue and we will make the last one purple I know for a fact I had this purple so right click paste it and we will make this purple so now that we got this purple what we want to do now is hit control J on this and hit uh, control E on this and name this BG3D so you know what you're working with. So now that we got this, and I don't think I did this step at like first when I first made it, but we'll just drag this over like so, keep it right there, and make it disappear. 
So what we want to do on this right here is add an inner shadow. Bring the distance up do like this. We want to add a little inner shadow to it. Make sure it's on linear dodge. So after you got the inner shadow, what you want to do is right click again and put a drop shadow on it. Yeah, so you just want to have an inner shadow or drop shadow. And then you can go back to this and you can already see the difference. Because this is really not that hard to make. So when you're making it, you can hit control to plus them and zoom in. For example, if you look at the edge of that green uh, O, you do not want it to cross into the other text. So you want to stop like, use that as a um, point to stop. Make sure it doesn't cross over. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. We're going to hit L on our keyboard to go to uh, the polygonal. I think it's polygonal. Uh, tool and we're just gonna drag these little areas over and connect the dots and then hold backspace I think it's not shift and then backspace and then hit ok to do content aware and that's pretty much how you do the effect I'm gonna just do like a couple of them try to get them out of the way real quick because it's not that hard I'm just doing content aware even if you don't want to do the little shift backspace thing you can probably find it another way to do it but you just want to make sure you do this like to connect the dots back here that's pretty much what i do so shift backspace and then right here shift backspace all right so now that we got that next thing you want to do is go on this these letters right here and you want to create uh, another layer then do clipping mask and hit b on your keyboard and you want to go to your brush and we're just going to select the color black now make sure your brush um hardness is on zero and yeah so we're going to do a clipping mask and just go to the bottom of the text like this and i'm making the brush bigger and smaller with the brackets on my keyboard but the size is around 200 250 and 175. so just go around you know do this and you can hit control Z if you feel like you mess up on something. All right, so now that you got that, you want to hit control J and bring this down here and create a clipping mask so it can be on both of them. So you'll see the difference like that right there. And after this, you want to create another layer. We're going to be using the brush again, but you want to hold alt on your keyboard and click on these. And you just want to hold alt, pick a color, then click a color. I do this in a lot of my tutorials. I'm holding alt pick the color then click with it and then you just want to put it on screen or either linear dodge it's up to you i'm gonna just do screen put it about right there and we're just gonna lock the layer all right so now that we got that we can go back to the letters and sometimes i think on the last one i did a little bit of beveling inbox but you can really only do that if you feel like it I just put this stuff down a lot when I did it. It made a little glossy, like a little glossy effect, but yeah, it's up to you. So you can add a little bit. But now that you got that, what you want to do is go on this letter and put brightness and contrast and up the brightness on it and also up the contrast on it. And then you want to go up here and put some vibrance and saturation on to make it pop a little bit more. And you want to add uh, contrast also. And you can take the contrast off it and the uh, brightness off a little bit. But go down here and then go to human saturation. And you can turn the lightness down to make it look a little bit more 3D, like something like this. You see how it looks a little darker. And you can also turn the saturation down if you want to. But really, the lightness thing should uh, work because you see if it's lighter, it really doesn't look that good. So if you make it a little darker, it look a little better so after you do that you want to go back to this hit be on your keyboard we're gonna go to the brush and this time we're gonna select the color black and we're just gonna click on it like this hey yeah so after you do that just lower the opacity a little bit and you should see a difference like that and then after you want to hit Control j on um this right here and then take this stuff down here off take clip mask off and just hit control E. And well, you could have kept the inner shadow on. Yeah, let's keep the inner shadow. Just to make sure you take the drop shadow and that stuff off. So after you do that, go to filter, blur, gaussian blur, and set the blur to about 
something like this after that you want to go to uh, lighting and add a little bit of that or you can do overlay it's up to you lighting or overlay but i'm gonna just do overlay and keep it about seven and you can see it's a little different but i do that also and it's one more step i'm gonna do so for this last step you want to get this again do we just did hold control pick all of those hit control j and this time what you want to do is hit control e you want to take the drop shot off hit control e on this delete these layers right here you want to right click select pixels create a new layer hit j on your keyboard and go to the uh, paint bucket tool and click just like that and you can delete this once you're done and now that you got this you want to keep that right there and what you need to do is get some type of grunge so you can go on google and type in grunge images or any type of texture but i'm gonna open up this genesis pack i have and get out of here so yeah i'm gonna get that and i'll be back with y'all when it's done when i got it open all right so now that this pack is open what you want to do is um go look for grunge and it's a lot of materials and stuff in here you feel me but you can find these images for free so if you don't want to find about uh, a pack no problem but yeah just go look for any type of grunge material i honestly forgot which one i chose but for example if i chose one like this i would just hit control c come over here hit control v just like if you're using a pack and what you can do is just bring this in here kind of like this and then hold control and pick both of these then hit control e and you can just put this on overlay like so and you will have a little overlay on your text also and you go back and look at this you can see and dang boy i i low-key went dumb on this like, I, I went a little stupid on it. i ain't gonna care but yeah you can see like the little text and one thing the only reason this looks so different i mean so different they ain't even make sense i said different only reason this looks so different is because um i use caps on this like, I didn't use caps on this right here, so that's why I don't look that crazy. But yeah, that's pretty much it to making the text. It's not hard to make it all. And you can just group it. Hit control E on it. Go to, yeah, so just put this on right here. Hit finish. I'm gonna see if they distort my image, but that's pretty much how you make it. I'm just adding my little magic boots to it now. I'm gonna show y'all the final product. Oh, nah, they ain't even do it. But yeah, that's pretty much how you make it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. You feel me? It's not hard to make this type of text right here. And so, yeah, y'all leave a like on that video if it helped you out. Being my dragon, peace out.